viewers that this is another day that uh, I would like to introduce you to a very, very important to topic. My name is Lawrence Wanjohi. I work with k to u Africa. Today, I'm just going to address men, men talk. With men, they are very, very active. In this world, you know, it was given to them the mandate to provide so they should work. They say that uh, hard-working men, they are there to live a lot. For example, they are able to attract so many work much wealth, many women, and all this. So what I want to say is that uh, as they age, you know, from here, yeah, toddler, and then school age, adolescent, all this, there's no big fuss about that. But let it come to a situation whereby somebody is now in adolescent state. This is when they realize that their manhood is what they should cherish, protect, and guide. Only later on, to find that it is going to be a haywire. That is, instead of climbing up, they go down the valley. Now, let me tell you something. I'm not talking about gray hair anymore. I'm not talking about the macho man, no. No, not the boy on the block, no. I'm talking about your manhood. This is what makes a man. Now, I have an illustration for you through pictures. This is a good picture of a cowboy rider. I hope you can see it. A cowboy rider. Now, the horse is very strong, gallant at age 20 to 30. That is how the horse behaves. And then we go to the next age bracket, 30 to 40. Now the horse is not very gallant, but steady. Okay? We go now to the next age bracket. Yeah? 40 to 50. Now, the gallancy, even if you feed the horse, nothing doing. Okay? The last, but not the least, is this age. Now the horse is tired. What would one do? And this is a situation whereby you maintain your age, maybe, and then you say, now, there's only one problem. The horse is not gallant anymore. What can you do? I have a solution. For men, they thought the gallancy will go forever. Yes, it can go forever. Only that you actually stick to your vibrant uh, hygiene level and also you do what it takes. takes a, take a lot of things. Yeah, for example. But here I have a solution. There is a product here by the name Katwaba. Katwaba is a K to you product. This Katwaba is a product from Brazil. And it has the component that they are so highly aphrodisiac that will actually make you at 450 to 70 a very gallant cowboy rider. You know, you, you, you reverse all the gallancy and you, became, you become an ace. Now, this Katwaba is in such a in powder form. Some of the ingredients I will just mention is katwaba, so palmetto, which are with a lot of zinc, and also honey goat wheat. You know, the, the name suggests honey goat wheat. Honey for guarantee. And then katwaba for 
longevity. Now with this, you never go wrong. It goes with the powder, it's in powder form. One, you put under the tongue, it's sublingual, and then it dissolves immediately, and then it's able to be assimilated in the body. Then after that, then you just advise to take a lot of water because some people can experience what we call dehydration. So with that, you are good to go. Goodie, cowboys, welcome.